Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook, but 10 seconds before we get started, I made this video to help you, so please help me if it helps you. It only takes a second or two. It's a great help if you subscribe, like, and or leave a comment down below. That's it. Let's get started. Now guys, that you've got your pads off, I'm going to spray it down one more time. And once you've got it there nice and clean, go ahead and wipe off these spots you see me wiping off. There's six of them total. And these are where your shoes set. So if you've noticed that when you apply the brakes, you hear a squeaky noise. That's what you're hearing. You're hearing the drums rub up against these six different spots here. So in order to fix that or prevent it from happening, what you're going to do is take you some high temperature brake grease and apply it in these six different places. So that way, when you apply your brakes next time, you won't hear that awful squeaking noise. And there we go. Okay guys, and before we put the new shoes back on, this little C-clip here will probably be dented up there pretty good, so I just take the hammer and just kind of beat it a couple times and that'll straighten it right back out. Okay, so now it's time to put everything back together and I'm putting this old nasty brake shoe back on. And you might be wondering, Jordan, why are you not putting new brake shoes on and Jordan, why are you not using jack stands? Well, those are good questions. But the reason I'm not doing this stuff is because, well, number one, I didn't plan on putting new shoes on my car today. So that's one reason why I will be doing that soon, though, obviously. And again, I'm not prepared with the jack stands like I should be. So I need to work on that. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use them. So, I like to kind of work the C-clamping like that, and then I like to take a little ratchet here, and then, ooh, just bang it right in. So, now, that's in nice and secure, and then I'll take, ow, oh, I got some metal in me, that's okay, I'll get to that later. So then I'll take the side cutters, and then I'll squeeze down to kind of close them here, if I can do that, Let's see if I can't flip them around either. Okay, and what I was saying there is, uh, I was talking about taking the dikes and squeezing them, but it actually works a little bit better if you take some pliers, because you can get a better grip on them. And you just want to squeeze them closed a little bit more. And just like that works just fine. Now, the C-clip will definitely, C-clip will definitely not come off. And then you're going to go ahead and turn around like we talked about earlier, and swing it up. Okay guys, now this is your star wheel adjuster piece. And it came out probably looking something like this. What you're going to want to do when we go to put everything back in is you're going to want to run it all the way down like that. And then this side is going to go like so on this side over there on the brake assembly. And you're going to turn it all the way down like that. And then once we get it back on, you're going to use some kind of brake spoon or a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna adjust this back out so that the brake drums are adjusted correctly but for the sake of getting the shoes back in there correctly and doing it the easy way you're gonna want to run this all the way down okay guys and now it's time for the fun to really be in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your brake flip them around and bring them up here we'll go ahead and put the hold down pin in there and oh I'm going to try to do this in one smooth flowing shot here. And so you're going to take it like so. Stick your spring down in there. And then take your dikes. Go ahead. Kind of like you put them on there. Push, grab, twist. And now that one's on there nice and good. Make sure it's lined up up here. Like if you can see on this side, there's like a little notch. Make sure it's lined up in there. And then we're going to go ahead and take your other shoe and hook the spring up there, hook the spring up over on that side. And then this is where the fun really begins. We're going to pull and get it in that notch over there. Make sure your seal's back on there. And that's probably going to go like that, but that's okay. So let me get situated. The next thing we'll do is take your star wheel adjuster thingy and we're going to slightly lift up on this side and remember that shorter side goes towards the back so I'm going to 
stick it in there. And I've got it set in there. Then you're going to take this piece and you're going to set it on the end there. And then get it in there like that. Oh, and I've came off the notch. back up and set it in there now that we got that all loaded we, and next thing you want to do is lift up on this shoe here a little bit and then go ahead and fit that little notch into that hole right there and then let it back down and it will be all set up just how it should be then make sure to take your pin here reach around so once you've got your pin all lined up go ahead and take your spring here and set them on down and all you gotta do is, just like with all the other ones, you take your dikes and you push, grab, and turn. Well, it didn't work that well, but I'll do it again here. And turn, there we go. Snaps into place, good. So, you've just got... Uh, you just about got everything back together. Next thing, you just go ahead and take this one. This one's not too hard. You just reach up in there. Hold it for a second. Grab with the dikes. And reach and hook it down in there. And then you can see the hole I'm talking about. And then the lastly, we'll put the spring down here at the bottom, which is one of the toughest ones. Alright, and it's time for our last spring, which is the most difficult spring. So you're going to go ahead and take it, put it on there like so. And I kind of like to chew a little bit. I like to bend the spring just a little bit so you can see it's got more of a more of a hooking angle on it. Because if it's just straight, it's near impossible to get that spring back on there. So I go ahead and I grab with the dikes. And then I have my flathead screwdriver prepared. So when I kind of claw it, I'll reach behind here and push and hope it goes in. So that's how I normally do it here. And oh, oh, please don't pop out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. So that's all there is to putting it back together. Now, the next thing we'll have to do is reach in up top. Let's see, yeah, up top will be reaching in over here to adjust these shoes out so that they have some tension. Right now they don't have any tension at all since we adjusted the star wheel all the way down. Okay guys, and now you're looking from up top here and I'm using this flathead screwdriver and when you adjust down, when you make the star wheel go in a downward position, you are tightening the shoes against the drums. So I'm going down a little bit and then if you need to loosen them up a bit, then you take this piece right here, which is the star wheel stopper. And so you pull it out, and then you're going to go the opposite way. So, like, so. And so that's, that's the way you loosen it. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up quite a bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the drum back on. And I'll put the wheel back on with one lug nut and you see how this just spins freely so what you want is you want the wheel with the wheel on you want it to be able to spree friendly Sp spin freely one rotation so i'll show you what that looks like here in just a second so you're just going to have to play with it you'll tighten it and loosen it it may take you a few times and once you've got that done um, i'll show you what it looks like okay guys and this is my first attempt to tighten up the drum brakes and as you can see, I spin it and it just keeps on going. So that is not tight enough. You can see that lug nut made more than one complete circle. So it needs to be tighter than that. And I'm going to give it a few more tries and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's tightened up properly. Okay guys, now I've adjusted it again. And as you can see, I spin it one time and it kind of stops. If I were to spin it a little bit harder, it would keep on going. So it could probably stand to be adjusted a little bit more. But as you can tell, it's tighter than it was. So just make sure it looks a little something like that maybe a little bit tighter would be better and that's pretty much all there is to the adjustment part and 
also that's pretty much all there is to doing the whole break thing. So that's it, and I hope you like this video better than the original. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well guys, unfortunately that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. And fortunately, you can catch me again right here on Facebook tomorrow on my next video. Just don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave lots of comments down below. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching, and see you tomorrow right here on Facebook.